A gateway to the Twin Cities, from the airport to the train connecting the terminal. Five Investigates uncovers a painful first impression for one visitor. No! And what's being done now to prevent it from happening again. Investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen is here with the story of the man who took that nasty fall. And you, the videos you've obtained have Metro Transit revisiting policy. That is how they're responding to our questions about what happened to that man who was trying to fly home to Florida. Within seconds of getting on the train, he says he had no time to hold on and no warning before it took off. It's not just another stop on the blue line. Oh, that was At the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport, the free ride between terminals one and two is often packed with travelers and their bags. This is what it looked like when John Lisbeth got on last summer. That's him in the red shirt and khaki pants at the top of the screen. The acceleration was immediate and there was no warning at all. As the train sped off to Terminal 1, no! Lisbeth briefly lost consciousness after that hard fall. Five investigates obtained these videos through a request under the Minnesota Data Practices Act. Okay. Fellow passengers and family members stepped in to help. I just got on the train. Along with an airport police officer wearing a body camera. It goes fast. Yeah. Waiting for paramedics on the platform, police confirmed the trains do not make announcements when they're about to leave a station. That's Lisbeth's grandson asking the question. So no warning at all from the... No, it just, no. It just goes. It just goes. That's going to have to be a new policy, then, isn't it? That's <laughs> ridiculous, like I was saying. Yeah, uh, I hear you. You can tell people, you know, the doors are closing, the train is about to start. No stranger to traveling, Lisbeth, who's 77, says the lack of announcements stood out because he's heard them so frequently elsewhere. Even uh, overseas in Europe, They'll warn you in the native language and they warn you in, in English. And you don't have to look that far. The doors are about to close. We found those same announcements on a separate tram at MSP run by the airport and not Metro Transit. Please hold on. The tram is departing the station. Metro Transit's own officers requested this video for risk management review, but the agency tells us its safety department never investigated what happened to Lisbeth because the extent of injuries was not reported immediately. I got some bad news for you. The blow to Lisbeth's head sent him to the hospital for stitches and a brain scan and caused him to miss his flight home to Florida. This is a problem that needs to be fixed. It's as simple as that. This is a dangerous situation. Right now, these tones only signal that the doors are closing. But after five investigates started asking questions, Metro Transit says it's now considering adding onboard or on-platform signage and or announcements about departing trains. No one from the agency would sit down with us to talk about what happened to John Lisbeth. So we share the video with Joan Wilshire. What were your impressions watching that? Well, certainly, it's, it happened so quickly. She's the former executive director of the Minnesota Council on Disability, a transportation advocate, and relies on Metro Transit to get around. One of the first things I do uh, when I get on is find my spot, park, turn the key off, and then hold on. He certainly appeared to be non-disabled. So what might happen if it was a person with a disability to be able to act on this to hopefully avoid any other incidents um, in the future? It certainly would be of value, I think, here. Now on the mend in Florida. Had seven stitches up here. Lisbeth says he hopes leaders in Minnesota hear his message loud and clear. If this is not an unsolvable problem, it's an easy fix. At last check, the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport serves more than 30 million passengers a year. Light rail traffic, which includes, of course, those two stops at the airport, also starting to pick up again. So you can imagine this is something we'll continue to follow. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that scream, your body just hurt right. for John. Do we know how often something like this happens? You know, Lindsay, we had the same question right at the outset, but not only did Metro Transit not investigate what happened in this particular incident, the agency also told us it does not track passenger falls across the system. Ooh, thank you so much, Eric.